Hey folks, it's Leo Walderpold. And I thought I'd just bring you a bit of an update from PNG. Um, so this video is a little bit of a mashup, I'm afraid. Um, so because I get a very little opportunity really to upload a video to the tube, um, I'm mashing a couple of things together here. So I apologize for any continuity issues. But it's a Sunday afternoon, about one o'clock. Bonekiake, as they say in the local language here of Kuanwa, uh, which is the language of the Tolai people. I'm smoking in uh, the Meerschaum I got from Token Tommy. The very last of the Motzek Strang that my good friend Tobias sent to me. Thank you very much both for the pipe, Tom, and for the tobacco, Tobias. So, it's about 35 degrees or so today at least. It's very hot out there in the sun, uh, but I'm sitting underneath a ceiling fan, and I'm looking after my friend's house for the weekend, uh, and their cat. So, um, I'm enjoying a bit of luxury this weekend, away from campus which is great. So I've got a, right where I am, right behind me there is the beach, literally, oh, about 20 meters away. <laughs> um, and I've got myself here, barbecue and an outdoor kitchen, beautiful balcony veranda, overlooking the sea, beautiful clear blue sea, and a reef out there. And over in the distance over that way, I'm hoping to take you there in a little while um, and show you the peaks of the volcanoes um, that are here in this particular part of Papua New Guinea. But uh, I'm having a very relaxed weekend mostly of bit of kayaking, snorkeling, and enjoying just sitting and relaxing with a cold one and a smoke. But where I am right now is located just outside of the town of Kokopo, just down the coast. Um, and uh, the town of Kokopo is pretty much the de facto capital of East New Britain province now, ever since the uh, uh, the eruption of the volcano Tovuva just on the other side of the bay there in 1994 when it uh, decimated uh, the um, erstwhile capital, Rabaul. Uh, now Rabaul is a place that uh, I'm sure um, those knowledgeable, knowledgeable about World War II uh, will have heard of because it was the, well this island um, and this part of the island was the scene of a massive battle uh, between uh, Allied forces and the Japanese um, and the Battle of Rabaul is uh, very very famous there's actually places on the other side of the headland just behind me on the other side of the water um, where there are still today uh, Japanese bunkers and tunnels and things like that and one of my favorite places to go snorkeling here is a place called the submarine base uh, which was a Japanese sub base uh, with tunnels that go into the mountain and the coral reef um, is a shelf uh, that uh, where it drops off is so deep that a submarine could actually come right up almost uh, to the shore um, and the Japanese soldiers could run out of the tunnels um, from underneath the volcano um, and resupply the sub just by running across the reef and then the sub would submerge and go off to do what they did. So it's a very interesting place to be around here, a lot of history, a lot of history. But uh, right now on the beach there's a few local people sitting, um, doing what they do on a Sunday afternoon, which is chilling out on the beach, going for a bit of a swim. Um, and I'm not really going to disturb them at the moment, but hopefully a little bit later, when it's, uh, it's gone a little bit quieter, um, and there's a few less people around, I'll take you down to the beach and uh, show you the volcanoes. 
and tell you a bit about them. So I hope to catch you in a bit. Okay, so behind me, across the bay there, that's Blanche Bay behind me. You can see three peaks. One, two, and then a little one there, three. Now that little one is called Tavova, and that's the active volcano. The other two are called Tokimau and Tavui. And they sit on a spit of land called uh, Matupit. So uh, the active volcano Tavova, right there, that's the one which exploded in 1994. But also, at the same time, if I can, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see, but over, uh, no, over here somewhere, there's actually another one called Vulcan. They both exploded at the same time. Now the interesting thing is, these three peaks here, these aren't actually the volcanoes. And Tavorba, the live one there, just there, it's only a little guy, but he's like a sleeping dog. And actually, the caldera um, is underneath the water itself. Uh, get my bearings here. Yeah. So, this is actually a syndicate or a stratovolcano. The actual caldera to which it pertains is underneath this stretch of water here. This is part of the Rabal caldera. So the main volcano is right underneath the water. And it's a big one, and if that ever blows, we'll know about it. But fortunately, there's a really good volcanic observatory uh, up on the hillsides above Rabal over there. the sea and the reef right here. Pretty stunning, isn't it? Tropical island paradise. So, come visit East New Britain. It's the best, safest part of Papua New Guinea. It's got the best reefs. It's got a lot of history. The people here are fantastic. Don't believe what you read on the news. Over behind me. Uh, now over there behind me, we've got the island of uh, uh, Duke of York Islands, and beyond that, which you probably can't see on this camera, uh, we've got the island of New Island. So these are all part of what we call the Bismarck Archipelago, and they all consist of uh, volcanic or coral islands, atolls things like that. So. Pretty stunning place. But there again, you can see Tavui, Tokimau, and the active volcano. So, later this month, when my buddy comes back from England, I will have a GoPro. And you'll be able to get uh, some good video of the coral reefs around here when I'm diving. And that I am looking forward to. Now, in the meantime, you guys take care and I'll catch you in a bit. came out underneath my new house here to do my washing. I'm sitting with a beer and a cigarette and I noticed a big locust on my water tank. He's a big fella. Then I saw the fella hunting him.
That's Heteropoda venatoria. Very common huntsman spider here in Papua New Guinea. Common and pretty big. They move like grease lightning, like they've got a mini teleport device strapped on their back. It's incredible. I'm still trying to work up the balls to pick the fella up. But in the meantime, I'm going to content myself with watching the show that I expect is about to unfold. Now, unfortunately, I doubt very much you'll get to see it. But I wanted to just share this fella with you. He's a beauty. He's been sitting there for uh, about, uh, well, I've been watching for 20 minutes and he hasn't moved yet. Happy boy. <laughs> All right, see you folks.